Have you been hired by the master? Have you been hired by the master? Yes, all of us have been given gifts, right? All of us have been given stewardship roles. Yes? Those who have children, you are stewards of your children. Those who have jobs, you are stewards of the money. Those who have families, you are stewards of your family. The question is, if you have been hired by God, and we have all been hired by God, it would be foolish to assume that we will never account for what we did. We, uh, remember the, the problem of Thomas, Matthew 24. <clears throat> remember the talents? One was given five, one was given two, one was given just one. The one who was given five doubled it. The one who was given two doubled it. What did the one who was given one do? He buried it, then he just returned it. And that's why the master called him wicked servant. Would you like to be called wicked servant? That's tasting one's own medicine. Management style. How do you treat responsibility? <clears throat> oh, let's do volunteer work. We have volunteer work. You want to come? I'm tired. I'm tired. It's too dark. It's too windy. It's too greasy. It's too cold. Do you cave in to all this, or it's fine? Here's a, a burden. You know this word, right? Do you find going to church every Sunday burdensome? What? It's Sunday again? Oh, you have to go to church again? Bible class again? <laughs> it's too burdensome. It's an attitude, right? It's an attitude. How do we look at it? It's management style. What's your style in your stewardship role? Anthony said it well. Stewardship means taking care of something. And, and, and management style is, how do you take care of whatever it is that you are steward for? How? How do you do it? What's your style? <clears throat> is, that, is that clear? Thursday. Do you think I have come to establish peace on earth? Jesus was asking. Again, Luke 12, 49 to 53. This is where Jesus says, wait, you think I came to, I came to sow peace? Family of five will be divided. Mother-in-law mother versus daughter-in-law. Son versus father. All those five. So what is this Prince of Peace business? I thought Jesus is the Prince of Peace. Go to Luke 12, you'll see what I mean. Luke 12. <coughs> I came to cast fire upon the earth, and would that it were already kindled. I have a baptism to be baptized with. And now I am constrained until it's accomplished. Do you think that I have come to give peace on earth? No, I tell you. But rather division. For henceforth, in one house there will be five divided. Three against two, two against three. They will be divided, father against son, son against father, mother against daughter, daughter against her mother, mother-in-law against her daughter-in-law. 
I didn't see mother-in-law and his son-in-law. <laughs> <laughs> and daughter-in-law against her mother-in-law. Oops, on Friday. She comes on Fridays now. That's why she's not here. <laughs> Prince of Peace, how do you reconcile that now? How do you reconcile it? Prince of Peace, and I'm showing division. What happened to the Prince of Peace? Are you ready? <clears throat> there are two things here. Number one, if you are not in complete union with Jesus Christ, there will be no peace. There will be this division, there will be this and that. Okay? Animosity and then all this. Now, what this gospel is saying is, <clears throat> if your mother-in-law, if your son-in-law, if your daughter-in-law, if your, if your parents, if your children cause you to be away from God, choose God. It's okay to go against your family if it's about going with God. It's not disgusting. Sir. It's okay for Jesus. It is will be, remember, following Jesus is not easy. Let me say this again. Following Jesus is not easy, right? That's what he said. Deny yourself, take up your cross, and follow me. Now what he meant with this is, just follow him. If any of your relatives would be against that, then so be it. You still follow Jesus. It's okay that he be the cause of division. You see what I'm saying? It's okay that he be the cause of division, as long as you're the one who is for Jesus. Okay? The best is, and all those, all those who are with Jesus, remember what Jesus said. <clears throat> Anyone, all those who is not against us, is with us. Right? So if your if your parents, if your spouse, if your blood relative would be against God, then so be it. You stick with God, stick with Jesus, and that's where unity will be. In. Of course, your your job would be to evangelize and reach out and have His name known and loved by them. But there's only so much you can do. Remember, conversion, you cannot convert hearts. We cannot change hearts. Only God can. Only the Holy Spirit can change hearts. <clears throat> we can do the talking. We can do the preaching. We can do the writing. But only the Holy Spirit can change hearts. So don't assume that because you cannot do it. Many saints have said that. Okay. Friday. This is where they see signs. What do you think when there is lightning and thunder? What comes to mind? Rain. It might rain. That's what this says. We are very good in predicting weather, right? Especially if you watch the Weather Channel or the, the morning news. And I do too. I watch the, the weather news every morning so I know whether or not what to wear. If it's going to be drenching rain, naturally you know what to wear. But that's what it is. Luke 12, 54 to 59. But here we are talking about spiritual weather reports. 
<laughs> Seeing signs. When it comes to weather, physical weather, we have had advanced technology, right? They can even predict the path of the hurricane. They can even do that. They can even animate. Animate. Here are the possible scenarios. What about this word? You know this word coincidence? Oh, I'm lucky. I see you here. What's wrong with that? so good at predicting the weather, but how do you feel about this? Coincidence versus God's providence. Do you truly believe that God is in charge? Especially when bad things happen to good people. Right? <coughs> like Marcel is a very good person. <laughs> so if something bad happens to him, you question God. How can you let it be? He's such a good person. What's the answer? Teaching me a lesson. <laughs> That's providence. His ways are apart from yours and mine. Still, we can never even come close to comprehending him. We can only go for as far as our faith goes. You know that? St. Augustine says, believe, and you will understand. Don't be those like those other Christians. They must, they must understand before they believe. Wrong way. Wrong way. The correct way is, believe, and you will understand. God's presence, most special. God's presence. Okay. Was this paying attention? What should we pay attention to? This is being Christ-like. Being Christ-like. so much fun. Being Christ-like. You know, right here. Pay attention. Being Christ-like. God's presence. Coincidence versus God's providence. Seeing signs. Spiritual. Spiritual coincidence versus God's providence, being Christ like. Saturday. The thing that was almost toast. Remember that fig tree? Jesus was hungry, and he was looking for figs. I don't mean 
fig harvest. Fig, the fruit. Newton, 